Hi, I'm Dan and welcome to the Airbrush Garage. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do some speckling techniques. You know, when you wanna get some of that, uh, you know, some stars on your project or um, some texture with some speckles. There's a couple different techniques I use and I'm gonna be showing them to you right now. So let's get going. All right, so the first technique that I'm gonna to wanna to show you is the old popsicle technique. Um, this is the technique that you probably saw or see when you go on to some other airbrush sites for this technique And I'm basically going to demonstrate it the same way um, But if you haven't seen it before I'm going to show it to you I am going to show you two other techniques that you might not have seen that I like to use but This is the tried and true uh, way of doing speckles, especially when you want to get a broad Area of speckles like if you're doing a sky, you know a sky scene or a, you know a space scene um, some textures uh, in the background, but you're usually using an ordinary popsicle stick. I have the full air pressure coming through of about 30 psi that I like to spray with. Um, I happen to be using an Iwata HPCH, um, which I like to say it's my micron, even though it's not um, equivalent to it, but it's about middle of the road. But what I do like about it, and the reason why I got this gun, is because I do like the Mac valve for techniques like this. This mag valve allows me to uh, control the air pressure right here at the gun instead of having to go back to my compressor. So, I'm going to be using full air pressure right now. I'm going to take my popsicle stick. Oh, let me, let me back up a minute. I have no needle cap on. Okay, so I'm going to be taking my airbrush and I'm going to be tilting it probably about at a 30 to a 45 degree angle onto my popsicle stick as so. You gotta be careful of the needle that you don't bend it on the popsicle stick. You wanna get that needle down close to the popsicle stick but not touching it, okay? So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, you can move back on the popsicle stick or forward on the popsicle stick and that will give you some different textures. It also will matter how close you are to your substrate or how far away. So let's try this technique. So I'm about a half inch back on my popsicle stick, okay? And I'm just gonna pull back on the trigger. I'm gonna start spraying. And you can see I'm getting a nice speckle pattern. Okay. That works well. But that doesn't give you a lot of control of where you want to put those speckles, okay? So that technique works well. It works well when you're doing, you know, something that the application calls for. What I like to do a lot of times if I'm trying to get into a controlled area, okay, is I like to, I call it the flick technique. Now you could do this without flicking also, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. But what I like to do is I pull back on the trigger with no air. What that does is it loads the needle tip or the needle up with paint. So now you got paint sitting out there on a needle. So when you come into your artwork and you want a certain area that you want that speckle, you point and just press air down, no paint, because the paint was already out on your needle. And as you can see, now you got a speckle pattern within a certain area that you were shooting at okay that's a technique i like now if you need a little bit more random technique you can pull back okay and as you press down you flick the gun now i do recommend i don't have my color cap on right now but if you're going to do this flick flick technique i recommend you probably do that because if you have any kind of amount of paint in your gun you're going to flick the paint right out of your color cup and probably on your artwork and ruin it so I'm going to pull back on the trigger just like I did on this last technique, except for this time when I pull down on the air, I'm going to flick up. Pull back, flick in air. So as you can see now, I got a pattern that's just a little bit more random than this tighter pattern. Okay, so that's technique number two. Technique number three, what this gun is really cool for. Now what? listen to the air pressure. Oh, 
almost next to nothing, right? Now what I could do is I come in here with this. Actually flip this over so you can get a better look. Depending again how close I or far away I bring that gun. But what's really cool about it is you got some really nice, you can texture a whole board with that and, and make it nice and even if you'd like by holding the gun at one set distance across and get a nice speckle technique. Okay, so that's where I like to use this valve. A lot of guys think that they use this valve or like to use this valve to turn it down to get really fine lines. I use 30 PSI. I don't change it when I'm doing fine lines. Um, I rely on my trigger control for that. But what I do like this valve for is certain techniques like this. So there's three techniques to add to your arsenal. Um, hope you got something from this video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button, share it out with your friends. I really appreciate that. Help me grow this channel. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.